In this listening series, we're going to learn about a very famous Spanish painter. And we're going to learn some new words in the process and improve our listening. Are you ready? Let's get started. There are three paragraphs in this story about Salvador Dali. I'm going to read each two times, then read the answers, discuss some of the words that you have to hear and fill in, and then at the end we're going to have four comprehensive questions over the content of this listening. So let's get started. Renowned surrealist artist, eccentric Spaniard, and armadillo owner, it's just the tip of the iceberg of Salvador Dali's biography. As a painter, designer, and film producer, he explored imagery influenced by Freud's theories by developing a paranoia critical method for his art. Dali's extravagant public persona attracted far more attention than his artwork thanks to his flamboyant lifestyle and controversial views. All right, let's listen to it again. Renowned surrealist artist, eccentric Spaniard, and armadillo owner, it's just the tip of the iceberg of Salvador Dali's biography. As a painter, designer, and film producer, he explored imagery influenced by Freud's theories by developing a paranoia critical method for his art. Dolly's extravagant public persona attracted far more attention than his artwork, thanks to his flamboyant lifestyle and controversial views. All right, now I will read the answers. Renowned surrealist artist, eccentric Spaniard, and armadillo owner, it's just the tip of the iceberg of Salvador Dali's biography. As a painter, designer, and film producer, he explored imagery influenced by Freud's theories by developing a paranoia critical method for his art. Dali's extravagant public persona attracted far more attention than his artwork, thanks to his flamboyant lifestyle and controversial views. The word eccentric means a person who is unconventional and slightly strange. Do you know any eccentric people? Biography is the story of one's life. Imagery is visually descriptive or figurative language. It paints a picture. Extravagant is lacking restraint in spending money. You spend a lot of it. Flamboyant tending to attract attention because of their outwardness, confidence, and stylishness, how they dress, how they act, and how they look. All right, let's go to the second paragraph. Young Dolly's creative skills evolved from an early age, and so did his eccentricity that led to his expulsion from art school. In the 1930s, Salvador Dali became a key figure in the surrealist movement, though its members disapproved of his fascist sympathies and obsession with Hitler. In the midst of World War II, Dali emigrated to the U.S., where he reached commercial success with the nuclear mysticism style, which claimed to examine religion through a scientific lens. Young Dolly's creative skills evolved from an early age, and so did his eccentricity that led to his expulsion from art school. In the 1930s, Salvador Dali became a key figure in the surrealist movement, though its members disapproved of his fascist sympathies and obsession with Hitler. In the midst of World War II, Dali emigrated to the U.S., where he reached commercial success with the nuclear mysticism style, which he claimed to examine religion through a scientific lens. Now I'm going to read the answers. Young Dolly's creative skills evolved from an early age, and so did his eccentricity that led to his expulsion from art school. 
In the 1930s, Salvador Dali became a key figure in the surrealist movement. Though its members disapproved of his fascist sympathies and obsession with Hitler. In the midst of World War II, Dali emigrated to the U.S., where he reached commercial success with the nuclear mysticism style, which claimed to examine religion through a scientific lens. Expulsion is forcing someone to leave an organization or a country. Movement is a group of people working together to advance their artistic ideas. Obsession is an idea or thought that you always think about, and midst is literally in the middle of. Now let's look at the third and final paragraph. Dolly's extravagance found its way into his relations and publicity. He found various applications for his talents, from theater sets to fancy attire. He collaborated with Disney and designed the Chupa Chups logo that is a signature brand image to this day. Even during his lifetime, Dali's legacy had a profound impact on pop art and contemporary artists such as Jeff Koons and Damien Hirst. All right, the second reading, Dali's extravagance found its way into his relations and publicity. He found various applications for his talents, from theater sets to fancy attire. He collaborated, he collaborated with Disney and designed the Chupa Chups logo that is a signature brand image to this day. Even during his lifetime, Dolly's legacy had a profound impact on pop art and contemporary artists, such as Jeff Koons and Damien Hirst. Now I'll read the answers. Dolly's extravagance found its way into his relations and publicity. He found various applications for his talents, from theater sets to fancy attire. He collaborated with Disney and designed the Chupa Chups logo that is a signature brand image to this day. Even during his lifetime, Dolly's legacy had a profound impact on pop art and contemporary artists such as Jeff Koons and Damien Hirst. Publicity means attention given to someone by the media. Applications are uses. Fancy means sophisticated or expensive, or both. Signature is a distinctive design by which someone can identify something. And contemporary is those living at the same time. Now we're going to look at the comprehensive questions and see if you understood what the text was saying. Question number one, Freud's theories had a great impact on Dolly's works. True, false, or not given. Pause the video if you need more time. This answer is true. Question number two, Surrealist group members were not pleased with Dolly due to their communist beliefs. True, false, or not given. It's not given. We don't know why they disapproved. We only know that they did not agree with Dolly. Question number three, what methods were not, or which method was not, solely Dolly's invention? Was it A, paranoid critical method, B, nuclear mysticism, or C, surrealism? The answer is C, surrealism. He was a member of that movement, but he didn't create it. And before we get to the last question and the bonus at the end, I want to encourage all of you to um, like the video if you liked it, comment on it, and tell your friends if they need to improve their listening comprehension. Question number four, which adjective characterizes Dolly most accurately? Is it A, extravagant, B, absent-minded, or C, quiet? It's A, extravagant. 
Now we have a bonus. Here's one of Dolly's most famous paintings. Describe in the comments below what you see or any impression you have when you see this painting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to tell your friends about it and subscribe and I'll see you next week for the next listening video. Thank you.